the hot shot drivers too. So they're all fairly toey and wanting to make good starts. And we've got a green light this time around. So Darren McDonald leads them down into the first corner. And we've got one out down there. I'm not sure who he is. And a few doing some horticultural work with the dust flying up. But Darren McDonald leads through the, the pit area and into Pud's corner. Cart number 50, Darren McDonald. Now back there in second posse, we've got Greg Selwood in cart number four. Then comes Paul Kendall in cart number six. And then Brian Hart from Pud's cart parts back there in fourth position. At the end of the main straight, Darren McDonald still out there in the front spot. Uh, looks like Paul Kendall has got himself up into second posse. But look at things in cart number six. That slots Greg Selwood back to third. And Paul Kendall has well and truly got the wick turned up in second posse there. He's really after Darren McDonald. But uh, Darren McDonald's been around this particular track quite a number of times. Come right up through the ranks, through the, the rookies, and uh, does a really, really top job too. Uh, learnt the right way. And, but looks like he's been slotted back to second position. Now Paul Kendall through into the front spot in cart number six. So Paul Kendall, as he comes past the pit area, doing a mighty job. Brian Hart is still out there in fourth position, followed by cart number nine. Of course, that's John Caravis, still ho holding on to fifth position. Cart number 12, I think it is, Matthew Kay, as well and truly got himself into sixth position. And there's a few moves at foot as they get down to the end of the straight for the minor placings too. But anyway, meanwhile, cart number six, Paul Kendall, right away at the front with the big red side pods. And Darren McDonald is even being ch challenged for second position there by Greg Selwood. So through the Lennox loop, Paul Kendall, cart number six. Darren McDonald, second position. Greg Selwood, Brian Hart. And then comes uh, John Caravis in fifth spot. So 15 laps to go after Paul Kendall comes across the strike. And still leads them through the Lennox loop with Darren McDonald hard pressed there in second position. Greg Selwood still hanging on to third position, followed by Brian Hart and John Caravan. Past the pit area, Paul Kindle. Nothing much has changed over the last couple of laps, folks, with Paul Kendall still out the front as he leads them down the main straight. Darren McDonald, Greg Selwood, Brian Hart, and of course John Caravis. That uh, rounds out the first five. Of course, Paul Kendall comes from the Geelong Kart Club. And doing a mighty job too at this stage. Hello, we've got one coming through the run through. And uh, looks like that's been a, a little bit of a bingle too. Cart number 38, George Crisitis. They um, take a fair sort of a pounding, some of these little carts. And I just no noticed that George's cart had the inside um, nerf bar a little bit askew. Or looking quite second hand actually. But Paul Kendall as he comes through the Lennox loop in cart number six with um, Darren McDonald still back there in second position in cart number 50. Greg Selwood still in third position, Brian Hart and John Caravis. With 12 laps to go, folks as Paul Kendall comes through 
the Geelong Road corner. So, Paul Kendall, as he lays down the main straight, Darren McDonald, Greg Selwood, Brian Hart, then we have um, John Carabas, and then comes Nathan Pretty in cart number 56. Nathan comes all the way down from Albury, Wodonga, and uh, he's sponsored by Light Touch Tuning. Currently sitting there in um, seventh position. Sorry, sixth position, I should say. Paul Kendall past the Lennox Loop. Paul is sponsored by ProCart, or the ProCart Club. And as I said before, it comes from the Geelong Cart Club, and he's currently got about nine laps to go. Stretched his lead just a little bit there over Darren McDonald. Darren, of course, is still there in second position. Greg Stellwood has um, still there in third position, but I don't think he can quite do much about Darren McDonald just at this stage. He's, I think uh, Darren's got his got his measure as far as second position is concerned. So Paul Kendall still out the front. So Paul Kendall, once again, as he comes through the Lennox Loop with Darren McDonald, Greg Selwood, then comes Brian Hart, and then we have John Carabas. Then comes cart number 23. Now, I'm not exactly sure who cart number 23 is. We haven't got a number down there for him, but uh, he's doing a fairly good job out there in sixth position. Looks like Nathan Pretty has been slotted back quite away after the last couple of laps, but uh, nonetheless, cart number six, Paul Kendall. With about seven laps to go, or six I should say, as the lap score board goes over, six laps for uh, John Paul Kendall, I should say. As he comes past the pit area. Still with that buffer between him and Darren McDonald. Looks like we've got, um, oh, Paul Kendall. He's uh, got a very, very loose exhaust over there. It's flopping around. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not the um, chain guard. It's it. Back there in the sun, it looked like his um, exhaust was a little bit askew. And with um, four laps to go, you cert certainly wouldn't want it hanging a little bit loose like that. Um, if you can see as he comes through the pit area, just flapping there in the breeze, it uh, looked a little bit like his exhaust was coming loose, but uh, it's well and truly intact. And Darren McDonald looks as though he's closed the gap just a little bit back there in second position in cart number 50. So once again, Paul Kendall at the end of the main straight. We'll watch him come past the pit area once again in cart number six. 
with Darren McDonald still there in second position, followed by Greg Selwood. Then comes um, John Carabas, Brian Hart. Okay, with two laps to go, folks. Paul Kendall as he goes across the strike, followed by Darren McDonald. And we've got one more cart out down there at the end of the straight in a cloud of dust. And it's a little bit too far from here to tell exactly who it was. But uh, meanwhile, Paul Kendall. And the gap is closed, folks. So Paul Kendall and Darren McDonald almost locked together here. The uh, elastic band has pulled Darren McDonald just in slightly. And with one lap to go, I don't think Darren can do much about it at this stage, but um, he's certainly not going to give up without trying at the end of the main straight. Paul Kendall and Darren McDonald. Darren McDonald back about uh, four or five cart lengths, closes up under brakes into Pud's corner. And boy, he's not all that far away, but I think time has run out for Darren McDonald. And John, sorry, Paul Kendall. At this stage, is going to take out Reed Light with the checkered flag. Darren McDonald, second position, Greg Selwood. Then comes uh, cart number nine, John Carabas, and Brian Hart across the line in fourth position, and that was 